Hello friends, welcome to BISPtrainings.com. My name is Sumit and this is my next video in TIPCO Spotfire tutorial series. Today I am going to walk you through few data visualization in TIPCO. So as you know that TIPCO Spotfire is a visualization tool and a rich visualization can be done through TIPCO Spotfire. So let's have a look what kind of visualization is possible within TIPCO Spotfire. So the very first visualization I'm going to explain you is the color categorization. Color categorization, let me explain you what exactly do I mean by color categorization. Color categorization means, for example, as you can see here, that's the sales data, which I am going to use in my examples. So that's the sales data. And in the sales data, I would like to categorize the value based on the colors so you can see this is the highest value which has been marked within different color and the values which falls within a specific range they marked in different color and the values which marked in a specific range they marked in another color so like this kind of categorization will help us to visualize the data more and effectively so let's have a look how to perform this kind of visualization in tipco spotfire so for this we need to switch to spotfire so i'm using here virtual machine I, I have installed i have configured my tipco spotfire in a virtual machine because the version which i'm using it's a trial version so it's better safe and it's better and safe to be used uh, to install in a virtual machine so that we can install it again and again so the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load the data table. So click on data table, add data tables, add file and let me load the data file. So let me show the data file first of all what database I'm going to use. That's my data set. I'm going to use this data set contains uh, records with various columns row id order id and so on so i'm going to use the same data set so add file and from my desktop i'm going to load the data set so i select the file sales data open and as i told you that the column format format can be changed the data type of the column can be changed from here itself so by default it is real if you want to if you want to make a change it we can have change into currency as well so that customization is allowed and also there is an option here ignore empty rows so if any rows are empty within the data set those rows will be ignored and okay okay it will load the data set and you can see on the right side sorry on the left side uh, the dimensions or the category they will be categorized according to their data types numbers currency time dimensions category dimension and so on so first of all i would like to do the categorization the customization the cal the color categorization so for this i'm going to use the table file so i'm going to use a table so here we have a table i simply click on table and the data will present in a table in a tabular format now to apply the customization click on take your pointer on the top right and you will find out table properties so click on table properties data appearance font columns colors so we can apply the sorting as well sort by none sort by so sorting can be done So get back to the properties so let me look at the properties open the properties of the table so I open the properties get to colors and in colors i would like to color i would like to color the scheme uh, grouping based on sales so as I, I draw click on this add and from here i select sales and as soon as i click create select sale 
so it will present the maximum and the minimum values and the maximum range is one four double two that's the highest value so and I would like to add a points between 14 and 10,000 so this is 14,223 I would like to add a point from 14 to 10,000 so I click on add points and we can move the position of this point by using this or we can directly enter values here as well so I can enter the values here as 10,000 and the position will be set and then we can set the color the color can be set and this color I set as a green same one few more points I would like to add that is 5,000 so we have a range from 14 between 14 10 10 5 and 5 to minimum and the color scheme I set it as a yellow and this color scheme I set as a something like magenta or maybe we can use some light color so we have dark green red and uh, I'll use as a blue color and finally when I click on ok close you can see the color categorization has been done successfully and if I apply the sorting on the sales column you can see the color categorization has been done successfully so if I apply the sorting done based on order date wise so you can see the various format the fields are coming the values are coming the categorization is work, working perfectly fine so that's how we can apply a color categorization so easily and quickly in tipco spot fire the next visualization is the marking which is a very important and a new concept in tipco spot fire which is not available in any other bi tool as well marking in spot fire basically it refers to the action of selecting data in a visualization usually what happened whenever we made a specific whenever we select a data whenever we made a selection in a uh, bar chart or in a pie chart that selection will reflect that selection will not uh, reflect the this will not fade the other values and it's very difficult to find out that what value we have been selected until and unless will not take pointer on that so marking in is marking will help us to visualize the data this help us to specifically specify that which data we have been selected so marked item can either be given and identify colors or they can be set up to keep the colors of the marked item and fade out all the other items so the color the the current selection will be keeping the colors will be displayed in the color and rest of the items rest of the items will be fade out so they will not provide any other color so it would be very easy for us to identify that which value has been or which data has been selected at present so let's have a look how can we perform this how can we do this in spot fire so for this first of all i am going to add a new page this is page so i am going to add a new page here page 2 and in this page i am going to create first a bar chart so i quickly select bar chart and you can see this bar chart by default this bar chart is from order priority based on order priority row count so I transform this bar chart based on region wise based on region wise and reset all filtering properties and I set marking as well. So you can see here my data has been loaded and I'm getting the region wise sale sum of sales region wise. So first thing I would like to sort this data in descending order. I would like to display the highest value first. So I right click and sort bar by value. So I select sort bar by values and the bar will be sorted ac accordingly. If I would like to change the locate positions the horizontal bar. So there is an option here as well horizontal bar vertical bars. Now I would like to do the mark marking because our topic is marking. So first of all, let me set the color as accordingly according to sales. And the, if you don't like this color, we can get back to the properties and we can sort the colors. We can change the colors as well, color values. We can give the color values. And instead of gradient, we have fixed unique values. So these are unique values. I can use it now. If I select prairie, you can see I select prairie and it 
nowhere indicates that which region I have selected here in this tip, uh, in this bar chart. So sometimes it will be very confusing for the user for the decision maker that which current selection we have he has made. So marking helps with that. So how to apply marking on this? So to apply marking, get back to the properties, and here in data there is an option here marking. So by default marking is set to none. So I set marking as a select marking. Click on close. Only thing you need to do this marking and click on close. Once you apply the marking, now if I select a region, for example, I select Atlantic. So you can see only Atlantic is enabled and rest of the bars are in faded color. So it would be, it would be very easy for a user to identify to understand that which region or which data he has currently been selected right now. So this will help. So this how marking helps user to work on the data set. Let's take one more example in the same. I would like that I would like to make one chart dependent on another chart. So how can we do that with that by using marking? So first of all, let me uncheck the marking. Let me remove the marking. I'll uncheck marking and set to none. And now if I made selection, it will get back to the previous state. So I'm going to add a new line chart. So I select a line chart. And first of all, I drag and drop this line chart below this graph, below bar chart. So I change its position. And by default, this line chart, if I select Perry, if I select Atlantic, this will display all the regions. So instead of this, I turn into year instead of month i would like to display year so we have here month and year days of month so we can i switch it to year so this is how i i have applied the filter now i would like to know that in the at the atlantic region how much total sale the atlantic region has been done in all the all the four consecutive years 2012 13 14 and 15 so in order to do that, because right now if I made a selection, the values are not changing because this chart and this chart, they are not associated with each other. So I would like to associate this chart. I would like to make this chart display the value only if I made a selection in the bar chart. So this can be done by using with the help of marking. So how to do that? First of all, enable the marking on the first chart. So I enable the marking on the first chart. Click on close. So you see Atlantic and the marking has been enabled now and in the then get to the properties of the second chart. I select the second chart data and limit data using marking. So I check this option and close. So you can see this line chart is not displaying any value right now. And as soon as I made a selection in West or Ontario or Atlantic, so I made a selection in Atlantic region. I got a line chart and it, it displays that in 2012, 13, 14 and 15, how much data have been or total sale have been done in the all four consecutive years in similar way if I made a selection of West so the values are changing if I made a selection North West territory the, the, the line chart is changing the line chart is representing the data based on the selection we have made in the bar chart so this is possible by using marking so that's all in marking I hope you find this video interesting so if you have any queries if you have any questions you can write to us on www.bistrainings.com you can subscribe our YouTube channel if you want to know more videos on Tipco Spotfire. If you want to gain more knowledge on Tipco Spotfire, you can contact with us for customized training on Spotfire. Keep watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.